Boom! Well guys, we got a little special episode for you. We want to welcome XDR to the Full Yeet Adventures family. So these guys right here, they contacted me and uh, provided me with some products that I'm gonna be running on the full Yeet Mobile over here. We're gonna unbox this, our first our, uh, first sample test product from XDR. We've got the XDR single system direct re factory replacement exhaust system. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna unbox and then we're going to go through the installation process and then we're gonna try it out. We're gonna see how it does. So, are you guys as excited as I am? Because I'm pretty excited. I wanna try this out. Uh, yet again, I'd like to welcome uh, XDR, the Flowmaster crew, because they're gonna be filling the full yeet flow. Tear this thing open, we're gonna see what we got in here. I love shiny new products, I love new parts, I love building new things. And this right here. Ah. So, styrofoam packing, man, that's a lot of packing. Ooh, look at this. Oh, man. Yeah, buddy. So eager to get this bad boy put on. Now, this right here, this is like covering up the Mona Lisa. This is the piece that you're gonna see that you just gotta, you gotta, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So let's see what else they got in the box. Instruction sheet, nuts and bolts. So my favorite thing out of this entire box right here, stickers. I love stickers. So instantly, if I was to put this Flowmaster sticker on my LS3, just right there on the intake, instant 75 horsepower. Tell you what, Flowmaster, and the full yeet flow goes together. So let's talk about this exhaust system right here. So this is the single exit uh, direct replacement exhaust for the X3 uh, that applies for all X3 models as far as base models running all, all the way up to the XRS, your 120s, your, one, your 172s, and your 195s. So your 64 inch, your 72 inch, your R models, your RRs, so this is just a direct replacement, uh, removing your old, heavy, restricting factory muffler and just replacing it with this. So we'll go over this during the install, but basically, as I said, this is a direct replacement. Um, per their standards, TIG welded 304 uh, stainless. So I'm excited to try this out and get this installed. We're gonna go through with it and uh, yeah, gonna, gonna get her done. All right, so first I went ahead to make this a little bit easier and took off the uh, DMX rear bumper. So first off, just to remove this, simple is there is four springs uh, that resemble these right here. Um, you just pop off those four springs and then you got four bolts on each side is uh, 13 millimeters. So real quick, we're gonna knock this out and get these taken off. All right, so probably the most painstaking process here is in order to get this bracket off here, ta da! You gotta remove these bolts or this bolt and this nut combo. So this is a 13 millimeter. Basically, kind of kind of sucks getting this bracket off. Don't leave you a whole lot of options. 
but there's a the bushing and stuff right here for the exhaust that you can push out of the sides and then you can basically if you got a 13 millimeter ratchet wrench um, if you've got a ratchet or something on its own you can get to the the two closest to the motor but the ones in the back gonna take a little bit of arthritis control there to get those out so now we're gonna mount the muffler up get it seated and see what installs like on it the factory bolts because these are not threaded if you wanted to thread these you'd probably get away with it but today we're not going to do that Nothing like working on stuff with some good old stack country music. Let's go over and get this thing mounted up. He's actually 15 pounds, nine ounces. Now we're gonna take this one over to the scale and weigh it out. All right, Let's see what the verdict is gonna be. How much does that one weigh? 23 pounds. Eight pounds difference. 